Hi, are you ready to kickstart your yoga practice? Well, if you've been sitting too long or lazing around too much, or just need a structured program to get you back into your yoga groove, then this series is for you. This is a kickstart program that has seven different practices. Yes, you can do seven different practices one day at a time, or just mix them all up. You'll find that they're easy, accessible, and guess what, they're fun. Hi, I'm Sherry Zach Morris, and I'm a certified yoga therapist, and I am the founder of Yoga Vista and I welcome you to this practice. It's a seven day challenge. Each class is about 15 to 25 minutes and we focus on lots of different themes. We'll focus on posture and balance and back care and movement and mobility and fun. This program is based on chair yoga. We will do poses that are sitting down. We'll do poses that are standing up. As always, you can pace yourself. You can stay seated the whole time. And when you're standing, you can hold on to the chair. That's the reason why we use a chair. It's our great companion to get us to be a little bit stronger. We are at the beautiful Rancho Guajome Adobe here in Southern California. Look at this beautiful environment. And every single one of these classes, we're gonna have a different location. So you'll have a beautiful tour of the Adobe as you work out with me. Always remember to check in with your doctor or your healthcare provider to make sure that these kind of practices are good for your health condition. As we age, we know that we need to take good care of ourselves. Just like this adobe is so beautiful because it's been well taken care of. This series will help you do that. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful program I created for you here at the adobe, and I'll see you at the ranch. Namaste. 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 We'll see you at the ranch. Namaste. Sherry here, and today's class we're gonna focus on a strong foundation. Yes, we wanna be strong and we wanna be sturdy. Today at the ranch, we are in front of the older buildings, as you can see. These buildings have been around for decades, if not centuries. And the reason why they stay around is because they have a strong foundation. And that's what we're gonna look at today. As we get older, our foundation tends to weaken. If we don't take time to strengthen it, it will weaken and it will get compressed. And we don't want a compressed body, right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to be focusing on the middle part of our body and the lower part of our body, which is really the strong foundation. A lot of that is in our core too. So as always, make sure to pace yourself and only do what feels good for you. And then the things that don't feel good today, then just skip them. But remember, always come back and give it a go again. Are we ready to start? Let's begin. Let's begin by sitting up nice and tall. And that's the code word for using your core muscles. As we've talked about before, if you are leaning back in your chair for support, that's a-okay. But truthfully, you're not using those core muscles as much. So as often as you can, you want to scoot on up a little bit so you have a little bit of space behind your chair. Then you know that you're powering up your core. And that's very important for your strong foundation. Yeah. All right, so close your eyes, place your hands on your laps. Let's just take a moment to focus in on this practice. Maybe your special request or your mantra today is, I want to be strong and sturdy. A couple deep breaths, bringing in that life force. And then flutter your eyes open. Very good. So we're gonna test a little bit about your foundation and how strong it is to keep you upright and not fall. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sway. Swaying is just moving off to one side a little bit like that, to the center and the other side, yeah. There is a concept called the sway envelope and the larger your envelope, the stronger your core is and the stronger your foundation will be. So we're just practicing our sway envelope. Good. Now if you can, let go of your hands and see if you can do a little sway to the center and do a little sway. Good. If that's feeling good, you can either go further in your sway or take your arms out a little bit more and then just sway. And notice you might be feeling the power in the core muscles right now because as you go sideways, the core is holding you upright. Otherwise, you would fall on the floor and we don't want that. Good. Take it all the way back to the center. Very good. Take your shoulders and roll them out a little bit. Good. Take your legs out in front of you. And we're gonna do a couple cat cows to warm up the spine. So on your inhale, we're gonna arch. And on your exhale, we're gonna round. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, tucking. Let's do two more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. And last one, inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Very good. Now, whenever you're sitting or standing, it's always good to take a wider stance. That just gives you a bigger base of support. So we're gonna be doing a motion called picking it up and throwing it away. 
So it looks like this. We're going to take one hand and we're going to reach over as if we're picking something up, bring it to the center, turn around, and throw it away. Good. So we're using those nice strong core muscles and our twisting muscles too. Good. And throw it away. And do it again. Reaching, grabbing, throw it away. And one more time. Reach, grab, and throw it away. Good. Let's do the other side. Here we go. Reach, grab, throw it away. And reach, grab. Toss it. Two more. Reach, grab, away and reach, grab, throw it down. Very good, now we'll clear the table, so just wipe it clean, just clear it out. Very good. Now we are using one arm for support, as you can see, one arm is on your leg, right? So the next round, we're going to go no hands and do the same motion, okay? We're gonna get a little stronger here. So this other hand is gonna just drape down to the side and you're gonna reach, you're gonna grab, and you're gonna throw it away, good and reach, grab, throw it, and reach, grab, and throw it. Okay, other side, you're gonna dangle it down, here we go. Reach, grab, behind you, and reach, grab. Toss it, and last one. Reach, grab, and it's out of here. Good, clearing the table, both hands. Here we, clear it out, good. Clear it out, and clear it out, and one more, clear it out. Very good, how is that feeling in the core? Yeah, we're powering up those muscles, huh? So take your legs out, and then dip them down so you can do one and then the other, the windshield wiper. This will open up the, the belly a little bit. Stretch those muscles we've been working. Good, and then as you come back to the center, just walk your legs all the way back in, and how about a couple marches? All right, so we were working on pretty much the, the center of our bodies, that core center, that's very important. But we're also gonna work on the lower core muscles. Those are the muscles that hold your pee, and those are the muscles that are very important as we get older. And we're gonna activate those by just lifting one leg up like this. Lift it up, good, and down. And lift it up, and down, good. And again, lift it up, and down, and lift it up, and down. Now, no hands, lift up and down and up and down up we go and down and up and down good you're probably feeling a little tightening in there that's what you want to feel we're going to do that same motion but we're going to combine it with an upper body movement as well this one's called rowing your boat so first of all we'll take our oar and we'll just start to practice rowing maybe you haven't rowed for a while right so we're just going to move those shoulders move the waist a little bit a little twisting good Good. And once we got that little motion, we're going to start to take the legs with us. So here we go. We're rowing the boat, working the lower core, working the upper body. Good. Building a strong foundation. We need a strong foundation for good balance, don't we? Yeah. And for walking, don't we? Yeah. Good. You got it? Are we almost to shore? <laughs> good. Double oars. Here we go. Double oars. Double oars. Now, just a little lift with those legs like this. Up, oh, yeah, we can do it. Up, oh yeah. If you're feeling that, you know you're using your core muscles. Up we go. And one more time, up. Good, and then release it. Whew. Take your arms all the way up like this. Stretch it up, nice and tall. Good, that lengthens you, good. And bring it all the way down. Now, we're gonna power up the core one more time. Hold on to the chair, both hands. Lift one leg up and down, other leg up and down see if you can lift up both legs oh lean back a little bit oh you got it four three two and one oh, good work now i know that's a lot of effort and we did it in a progressive way so always remember if you can't do it all the way through the pattern you always can just hang in on the first one right so take your legs out a little wider and we'll go back and forth good back and forth you can use the arms if you like to. These are called walking like an Egyptian. So you can definitely get the upper body and the lower body involved. Good. We're going to keep on going until we have one leg in front and the other leg is going to dip down. Now you want to scoot yourself so that only one butt cheek's on the chair. The other knee drops towards the floor. Or if you feel you're a little more open here and we need to have a little bit of openness in here, you could scoot your leg back. Otherwise, keep it down. And we're going to do the walking gait. It looks like this. We're going to swing one arm back and then one arm forward. 
and one arm back as we look at it and forward good down to the side now the toes are going to point and go forward so it's going to be toe point and kick it back toe point and kick it back now we're going to combine legs and arms here we go toe point arm swings back we're looking toe point back and we're going forward good how about that good working the upper and lower body in synchronicity good this will give you a nice strong gait gait is your walking good one thing that we lose when we get older is the ability to have a a nice stride right so this helps you with your stride so take your arm now when it's in front I want you to lean it forward a little bit and then take it out and then lean it inward a little bit and take it out and lean it in and then release it good let's go to the other side so remember you're trying to keep that knee nice and long pointing towards the floor if you can open up this part of your body you scooch that foot back a little bit more if that feels good otherwise keep it where it feels comfortable good we're going to swing the arms back back and look at it forward and look at it back and forward good and now we do the toe tap so we'll go toe tap and then back toe tap and back now we'll do it with the arms coordination good and toe tap good and one more one more for good measure good when you're forward we're gonna reach inward a little bit and then come out a little bit reach in a little bit and come out and last time reach in and come all the way out now keep those legs a little bit wider you might be feeling it a little bit in your lower back because we did a little twisting so that's why it's important to do a cat cow after any twisting or lateral bending so here we go cat cows on your inhale we're arching and on your exhale we're rounding and again lift and then arch two more inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale very good and back to the center good as you come back to the center let's bring one knee in a little squeeze up there good a little squeeze there if you really want to get the whole spine then you do a little kiss your knee hunch in there a little bit and one more cycle very good all right and then how about stomping your feet a little bit and then a march yeah we're going to get ready to stand up so we've got the concept of what it takes to have a strong foundation right core strong legs but a strong core is just as important as our strong legs and our strong feet so come on up and we'll do some standing good so bring yourself so that you are in front of your chair and we're going to do a little practice that will tell us how your sway envelope is performing for you okay so I want you to hold on to the chair and I want you to lean towards the chair as if you're almost gonna fall over right just lean into the chair good and then I want you to lean all the way back so you're at your heels and maybe maybe the toes come off a little bit good and then lean forward a little bit and then lean back a little bit good now lean over to one side doesn't matter which one you're the leaning tower of pizza right now good back to the center and lean over to the other side good and back to the center now we're going to do it again for those of you who want to give it a little more go this will strengthen a little bit more of that foundational muscle group right is hands on your hips and we'll lean a little bit forward get off balance a little bit good come back to the center and lean a little bit back oh that's hard huh lean a little bit forward and lean a little bit back good you're trying to keep your body straight you don't want to be pivoting at your hips lean to the side a little bit to the center and lean to the side a little bit good and to the center good and then how about a march march it out very good so if you practice that leaning you're going to notice that you're going to get a little bit stronger and your balance will get a little bit better because you are challenging yourself by leaning right remember the sway of envelope so now we'll work on a strong foundation series that will focus on our feet, our calves, our knees, our thighs, and our hips. So everything in the lower body. We worked pretty darn good in the middle body, right? Now it's the lower body's turn. And we'll do that through some balancing. So take the chair off to one side, doesn't matter which one. Good. You got it? Very good. We're going to take one hand out in front into hitchhiker thumb. 
So hitchhike our thumb and we're going to go out to the side one finger at a time. So it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. Come back in, pinky first. Four, three, two, and one. Good. And again, one, two, three, and four. And back in. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're going to do it with the leg. So you're going to lift one leg up and you're going to hold it. We're going to do the same thing with the hand. Here we go. A little more challenge. Upper and lower body. Strong foundation, right? Good. One, two, three, four. You're holding on to the chair, right? Four, three, two, and one. And here we go again. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now take that back foot and just touch it behind you and raise that arm up. Good. Remember our walking gait? Yeah. Doing the same thing standing up. Very good. And back to the center. Now for those of you who really want to go for it, let's just give it a try. We're going to let go of the chair while we do that same motion. So both hands on your hips, lift the leg up. Hand in hitchhiker thumb. You could turn your head or not. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. One more. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Good work, walking gait. Yeah, stretch out those hip flexors. And another one. Reach up to the sky, last one. Good, okay, other side. You know what we're doing here, right? We're working that strong foundation, getting your feet, your thighs, your knees, everything strong. Okay, we're gonna take one hand out in front, using your thumb, hitchhike your thumb, one at a time. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. And again, one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, and one. You got it, good. Now we're gonna do it with the leg. Lift the leg up. Good, find your balance. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, and one. One more time. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. And now the walking gait. Yeah. Always want to stretch out the muscles that we're using. We don't want to overuse muscles that get too tight and then they start pulling on your body in different ways. That's what gets your posture out of line. Good. And now we're going to do it with the hands on the hips and lifting one leg up. Find your balance first. Good. Hand out in front. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, and one. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, and one. Good work. Walking gait. Walking gait. Stretching those muscles out. Good. And last one. And then release it. Good. Now let's move on to tree pose. Tree pose is a very popular balancing pose and it's very good to create the sturdiness in the lower part of our bodies. So you can hold on to the chair, of course. We're gonna take one leg, which will be your tree trunk, and then the other leg will come up into your instep or into your calf. So I'm gonna hang on the instep today. Good. And then bring one arm into cactus and as soon as you bring that arm into cactus, you have lengthened your spine. Always remember that cactus opens your heart and lengthens your spine, makes you taller. Good. If it feels good, come into a V position. Very good. And if it feels super great and you're feeling like I can do this, tap your chair. Tap your chair. Good. Let go and maybe come into the full V position. You got it. You are in tree pose. Four, three, two, and one. Good. How'd that feel? How about walking gait? Why not? All right, to the other side. You can turn your body or turn your chair. The most important thing about tree pose is that you find your foundation first before you do any balancing. So making sure that that leg that's staying down there, you feel your toes touching, your heels touching, everything's feeling good. Instep, calf, you decide. I'm hanging with the instep. Arm is in cactus. Remember that can keep everything straight and tall. Good, if that's feeling good, take it into that nice big V pose. Tap your chair, check your balance. That's what's so great about these classes. We can always go to our level and we can challenge ourselves if we want to. Good, and then big super V. V for victory, we've got it. 
Feeling strong on this side? Good. Four, three, two, one. Good. And walking gait. Walking gait. And release it. Very good. And now we're going to do something called the sunbird pose. This is also a balancing pose. Works on our foundation and lengthens our spine as well. So it's a double duty, great pose. Take one arm out in front, doesn't matter which one, and the opposite leg behind you. Good. Holding that for your balance. You should probably feel your gluteus muscles, your, your butt muscles get a little tight on this one. Good. And then release. And then to the other side, bringing one leg up and the opposite arm. Good. Very good. And let's see if we can do it alternating with our breath. So we're going to inhale, arm, leg, exhale down, inhale, arm and a leg, exhale down, and again, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Good. How about a march? Stretch out that lower back a little bit. Good. Now we'll add another component. Make it a little bit more challenging, right? That's what it's all about. We don't improve when we don't get better unless we challenge ourselves. This one's going to have a little saluting involved. So it's going to be one hand in front, opposite leg in the back. We're going to salute with the front hand and bend the back knee. Good. And then straighten, bend and salute, straighten, and one more. Bend and salute and straighten. The next time we're going to bend and salute and we're going to dip down, so we're going to hold that. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Straighten it all out and bring it back in. Ooh, that was work, huh? Okay, other side. Arm is out in front. Lift the leg. Bend and salute. Straighten. Bend and salute. Good. Straighten. One more. Bend and salute. Straighten. Now the dip. Bend and salute with a dip. Holding. Four, three, two, one. Straighten it out. Good. All the way down. And how about a march? That will feel good on your low back, huh? Good. Now let's take a nice long downward facing dog. So if you can, reach one arm up, bring it down, other arm up, good, bring it down, both arms up, maybe look up to the sky, bring it all the way down and walk yourself all the way back into a nice long back stretch. So make sure you keep those knees bent, you're going to take your heart towards the floor, maybe bringing those arms down a little bit and bending those elbows if that feels good for your shoulders or keeping your elbows straight if your shoulders feel that that's safe. And breathe into that. And one more nice long breath cycle. Good. Look up at your thumbs and walk yourself all the way back up, all the way back up. And we'll end that with a march. And how about swing those arms? Yeah. Did you say swing them all the way up? Yeah, why not? We've been working on our strong foundation, right? Now let's see if you can go slower. <laughs> and slower. Good. And slower. And one more. Very good. Good work, everybody. Well, come on down. Come sit down in your chair. We'll wrap it up with just one more pose. So come on down. We will end this sequence with the foot stomp. The foot stomp I learned from Eric Small. He was a yoga teacher who taught students with MS because he had MS himself. And he said this is very good for creating the sensation in your feet. So if you have neuropathy, if you have poor circulation, if you have any diabetic tinglingness in that area, this is really good to just get the blood flow going. So what we want to do is lift up a leg and drop it. And lift up a leg and drop it. Good. That's the concept. It's called the foot stomp. So there is a little bit of a stomping noise and there's a little bit of an impact. You want that because the capillaries on the bottom of your feet, we want to, them to be pushing the blood back up to the heart. That's going to help your circulation in your feet. Good. And then if you want to, you can go. <laughs> no hands. Good. And you're stomping. You're not going very high. Not important to go high. The stomp is more important than the height. Good. You got it. And release it. Well, good work, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this chair yoga class for a strong foundation. The more often you practice it, especially your sway envelope, the better you will get and the stronger and more confident you will feel in your gait, in your balance, and in your walking. So until the next time, namaste.